13 moments from the 13th Doctor. So, number one, crashing through the roof of the train. It was one of the best entrances into an episode ever for anyone because as a stand-up, they play the iconic beats of the soundtrack and I've never felt cooler. Jumping between the cranes, did it on day one. And then also as the doctor, it was a really fun kind of thing to do because it, it referenced the fact that I'd um, regenerated from Peter. Hence, I remembered my legs being longer and I nearly didn't make the jump. By far, obviously up there is shooting the bus scene at the end of the episode for Rosa, where uh, Vanette Robinson's Rosa has her incredible moment of saying no. No. If you don't stand, I'm gonna have you arrested. When we see the TARDIS on the rocks, we shot it in South Africa, it was beautiful. It ended up being a real icon shot of the series. When Tosin Cole fell out of an ox car, <laughs> but it was brilliant. He also, just because to minimize his embarrassment, he kind of laid still for a bit so that we all fretted that he got injured. But then when we saw him laughing, it was all safe to absolutely wet ourselves. So at the end of Arachnids in the UK, there's a moment in Sheffield where um, Yaz, Graham and Ryan have the opportunity to, to leave the Doctor and leave this adventure. But it's a really beautiful moment where they decide to stay. Welcome aboard. Properly. Shooting Spyfall. Having shot the entire episode with Sasha being the character O. And on the last day of shooting Spyfall, he reveals himself to be the master. I did say, look for the spy master. Or, or should I say, spy master. Digging in the ground by the side of a lighthouse and seeing the top of a TARDIS and turning around to meet Joe Martin's phenomenal doctor. You're probably a bit confused right now. So then, obviously, the biggest moment so far for me in shooting on emotional stakes was when Graham and Ryan decide to leave the TARDIS and the adventures of, uh, with the Doctor behind for going back to their life. Hi, fam. At the beginning of season 13, myself and Mandip are dangled over an acid ocean by Carvinista. There is a moment beforehand where it's just a green screen and two people being winched up on wires. I think me and Mandip thought we probably looked kind of superhero-ish, probably quite Marvel. And actually what we look like is when two, you know, when you see in those rescue videos of animals that get stuck on a little cliff edge and they have to go rescue them with a big winch. <laughs> that was what raising me and Mandip into the sky looked like. It's the end of the series and we're shooting with the TARDIS out in Liverpool, night shot, crane shot, and there are crowds of people. And then it very quickly dawns on me and Mandip, not one of them are there for us. They're all there for John Bishop, who's a legend in Liverpool and he can't go anywhere. It's like being with royalty. There is a moment where the doctor turns into a weeping angel and that technically to shoot, we were on a 360 green screen. Um, obviously loads of it's done in post, but it was, um, it was a really choreographed and detailed shooting day where, we all, where I had to end in the iconic pose of the weeping angel. And knowing for the fans that, you know, the doctor's gonna turn into a weeping angel, that was really exciting to shoot. To bookend this entire thing, the very first thing I shot was walking through grass to reveal that the 13th Doctor was going to be played by me. That was the very first time I suppose I experienced walking in the Doctor's shoes, but that was a really extraordinary thing to film.